Oh, Joe, I'm so glad you're here. Why? What's, what's going on? Am I a bad person? What do you mean? I've done so many bad things and I just... I'm afraid I'm a bad person. Well, what bad things have you done? Yeah, uh, I'm putting a stop to that. This is my kingdom now, so you're gonna worship me. And I sentence you to death by tickling. But, uh, I'm not ticklish. Guards! Then why are you constantly coming into my kingdom? Uh, this is where I work. And this is not your kingdom, this is a church. I keep hearing noises and I, I'm, a, I'm afraid something's gonna get me. Well, I tried to get you to worship me and not God. I tried to kill you. I've taken things that weren't mine. Instead of trusting God, I chose to be afraid. Well, everybody makes mistakes. Well, you don't. <laughs> oh, yes I do. Church, not your kingdom. This is where... <laughs> uh, My name is Joe Shepard, and I'm the family pastor here at Cornerstone Community Church in Auburn. And if this is your first time joining with us, um, we'd like to point you to our website at auburnseastone.info. There you'll find our connection cards. That just lets us get to know you a little bit more and also how we can be praying for you throughout the week. You'll also find our giving tab um, where you'll be able to... Uh, with a <laughs> Let's start that over again. <laughs> Gosh darn it! I'm like, point, and then where was I going with, with giving tab again? I, well, I've been reading the Bible story for this week, and I, I know that God is a righteous judge. It says it in the story, and I'm just afraid that God's going to judge me for all the bad things that I've done. What Bible story have you been reading? I'm reading the book of Daniel. And it says that God is a righteous judge. I've done plenty of things wrong that I know he's going to judge me for. This is kind of a good news, bad news kind of situation. Huh? I could tell you the good news first, but if the bad news is second, that's all you're going to remember. So I'll start with the bad news. Well, don't do that. Just, just trust me. Uh, okay. It is true. God is a righteous judge. And with the story of Daniel, the people of Israel were conquered and were exiled to a foreign land under a crazy mean king. And where they were released from their exile, they still didn't learn their lesson about depending on God. And they were released anyway. And they were able to go back and rebuild Jerusalem. So, what's the good news? The good news is that where God is a righteous judge, he is also a loving father. If someone were to come up and take all of your stuff and beat you up, you would hope that they would be punished, right? Well, duh. But if they went before a judge and they admitted to it and they said they would definitely do it again if they had the chance, and the judge just said, uh, pay a $10 fine and you're free to go. Would he be a good judge? Heck no, that's not fair. Exactly. So God being a righteous judge, there's a penalty to be paid. But he is also a loving father that didn't want us to suffer for that punishment. <gasps> that's where Jesus comes in, right? Exactly. Jesus came in and took that punishment so that God can be a righteous judge because the debt was paid. But also he's a loving father that gave us the ability to be freed from that punishment and have a relationship with him. That's grace and mercy. With the Israelites, even though they were punished in exile and still didn't learn their lesson, God still loved them and was willing to give them another chance for them to be closer with him. That is until Jesus came along, and it didn't depend on what they did or didn't do. 
Oh man, that makes so much sense. So God gets to be a good judge. Jesus takes the punishment because God is a loving father and we are freed so that we can know God as the loving father he is, right? Exactly. You got it. So yes, we have done bad stuff and make mistakes, we ha- but we have been forgiven. Now I see why you did the bad news first. Exactly. God is pretty awesome, right? Yeah, he is. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I love you, and I'll see you next week.